Hello. It's um, Thursday night. This is Jacqueline with um, Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. And I'm going to be working on this adorable, oh, got a little piece of sticker there, a little bit, little adorable sheep ski image. This is um, coffee. Oh my goodness. I think it was coffee. Coffee greeting, I think. I have it on my um, Facebook page. Sorry. <laughs> I've had a little bit of a day, so um, let me see if I can tell you what the name of the um, image is, and then we'll start coloring. Let me let me see. I'm over on my um, page on my phone, and let me check it out. I need to get the live going uh, live up on my phone anyway, so I can read your messages. So, how are you guys tonight? Let's see who's on. Let's see. Oh, coffee break. Coffee break. It is coffee break. I think that might be what I said. This is coffee break. I think she's just a beautiful image. And we'll get started. And I'll put my phone where I can see any messages. See who's on. Let's see. My phone's wanting to update, so I'm hoping it doesn't like try to update during the middle of the live. Yeah, for some reason I can't even see. Um, can't see who's on. But we'll get started. One person's on, so I'm going to assume it's Sharon. <laughs> Say welcome to Sharon. Oh, two people are on now, so we'll get started. We don't have to wait for a crowd. We'll just get going. All right. So if you do have any uh, questions or anything, any comments, go ahead and type them, and um, you know we'll try to answer them. So I am going to kind of use a combination between my. Um, Copics and my Spectrum Noirs. So I'm going to start first with her skin and I'm going to use E01, E11. I'm going to use a touch of R30 on her and let me grab one more marker. I've picked up um, one marker. Oh, here it is. E000. I accidentally picked up the wrong marker. All right, so we'll get started. I do think she's beautiful. She's sitting in a coffee shop like she's waiting on somebody that she loves. So I just think she's so pretty. Oh, there we go. Hi, Terry. And hi, Sharon. Um, my comments weren't going. Now they are. So that's good. Here, I'm going to um, zoom in on her. This, again, she's from Sheepski Designs. And it's Coffee Break. But I'm going to zoom in on her. And then we'll... Um, Zoom back out when we make the card. And that way you can see what I'm doing. She's got a pretty, very pretty face. She has a lot of detail to her face. So we'll try to go back in and do her some justice um, after. I'm just going to go ahead and get the paper wet. And we'll go back in and, and um, try to def give her some definition on her face. She's pretty covered. And then see she has just a little bit of skin showing right here above her boots which i mean really i guess it could be tights doesn't have to be skin but we're going to say it's skin if it were me it would probably be um, some tights that i was wearing and so i'm just gonna go in here so this was my e triple uh, zero and i'm going to go in with e11 and go around her hairline just a little bit and over here by her cheeks, I, I printed her at um, 3.7. And to be honest, you might want to print her a little bit bigger. Um, I did it because I was I had a specific die in mind that I wanted to use. And I needed her to fit in the oval. And that's how I, I am size mine, as I figure out what die I want to use. And then I size size my images to fit so um so she is a little bit smaller sometimes um because see there's other things in with her so she is a little bit smaller and so i'm just going to go in here with her skin and this is sweet sentiment paper so it um takes color really well i really love it so I'm just going to kind of define, and she's going to look a little um, harsh, 
till we get some her clothes done. You know, we'll do her hair and so I'm just trying to do see lightly where her nose is at and down here where her chin is at and kind of around her hand underneath her dress is going to be a little bit more shading needed. And over here kind of in the corner and she will be a little bit harsher looking until like I said until we get some um, more colors in there for her okay now I'm going to use the um, R30 for, for the blush and she doesn't need a lot she does have some pretty high cheekbones so uh, you know not doing it like circles like we do when we do the whimsical characters so there we go and then a little bit um, lipstick so go in here and I will probably go over her face a little bit more after I get her hair done so I can get a little bit more definition going see she doesn't take much because she is awfully pretty and then I'm going to use um, let's see I'm going to use my E01 oh I Kind of over her eyelids a little bit more there we go just a little bit i feel like i'm really stretched forward here <laughs> there we go okay so let's go ahead i'm going to go ahead and do her boots and then that way i can take this little strip of paper off and you know we put the strip of paper on to protect the image that's what we're doing so if anybody wonders why we have the paper on that's what we're doing so this is w3 and I'm just going to do her heels down here. And then we're going to do her boots. I used to use washi tape, but a couple of times I ripped the paper from the heat. It melted the adhesive and my paper um, ripped. And I covered it up, but it wasn't very fun to on a live to have to figure out something to do to cover up the paper. <laughs> you know, things happen all the time all the time i wanted to mention i don't know if gail's on or not um thank you i won a prize from gail a tipsy turvy um for my glue and i really appreciate that thank you so much i never win anything so i was just thrilled this is w2 and i'm going to use w1 yeah i was just thrilled and i meant to bring it down here to use it tonight and i left it upstairs so I'm sorry. So I'm going to just go back over this. I'm going to go over this a couple of times. And when you very first are laying down color, it does look a little harsh. And I'm doing little strokes, just kind of little strokes. Um, and then we'll blend it out in a few minutes. So this is my W2. I'm going to take my W1. Kind of pull this out. There we go. And I want to um, pull the color out is what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to go from the sides here and try to pull the colors out. And then go from the sides and just try to pull the colors out. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Several of us on that watch that can help and answer. I'll just see what um, anybody is saying. Oop. Oh, hi, Fatima. How are you? Hi, Dawn. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Robin. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Terry. If I missed your name, I'm sorry. And I only know if you're on if you've uh, made a comment. So here we go. And now I'm going to go back over this again. And I'm going to use my W3 a little bit more. But we want the shading, so I don't want to um, take away from that too much. So I'm going to go over here and underneath where her um, sole is. And her heel back here so I'm going over it a couple of times because I want it to be a bit darker and then I'm just see I'm just kind of pulling the color very lightly just um, flicking very 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 lightly you don't have to do it uh, you know just be light-handed don't you don't have to be it's really hard you don't want to be heavy-handed because um, it's hard to uh, blend when you're heavy-handed and uh, I am heavy-handed, and I have to be very, very careful. So I'm trying to just lightly flick. So, see what um, anybody is saying. She is a pretty image. She really is. She's elegant. 
you know, sitting in a, I don't know, maybe she's sitting in a French coffee shop. So this is W2. I don't know, someplace romantic. Because I said love is in the air. So someplace romantic. So I'm just trying to pull this out a bit. And pull it out a little bit more. And then we'll go over it with our lighter color. So you want it to be a bit darker in the in the back. And then I'm using W1. I love warm gray. I don't know why. I say that every time that I use it. But I do love it. So there we go. See, so we're blending it together. This sweet sentiment paper has a pretty sparkle to it, so I thought that was appropriate for this image. There we go. Plus, it's just so great for blending. There we go. And I think I'm going to, one more time, do the hill. So I can get, the more you layer, the more color, um, you know, the intensity of the color. So I, I wanna do just a little bit more down here on the hill, see? See, with every layer, it, um, it just kind of helps. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. And then um, we'll work on her dress and her uh, coat. So I'm actually switching over. <laughs> Those were Copics. I'm going to use um, LG3, LG2, and LG1 of the Spectrum Noirs. And, you know, this kind of lets you see that you can mix and match your alcohol markers. So I am going to switch over, um, trying to make sure that I'm not blocking your view here. Yeah. So you can, um, you can um, use any alcohol markers you have and mix them together if you want to but I needed this particular color of green and I don't have it in Copic, so I um, thought I'd use my Spectrum Noirs. So I'm just going where I, you know, it's gonna, she's gonna be a little bit darker. And that's what I'm doing and I'm trying to flick because you don't want to have really, really harsh lines. So I'm just kind of flicking and I'm just kind of going around and it looks a little rough when you're first doing it, but then it comes together. It really does. So now I'm going to do LG2. And see, these work very well. They're nice markers, too. So I'm just pulling out that color. Sort of a non traditional colors for Valentine's, but my paper will pull it all together. Some paper that I've actually had probably about oh five years and I haven't used it. But tonight I pulled it out and I'm going to use it. I'm trying to um, really use up my paper. There we go. So I'm going to go back again with my darker color, which is the um, LG3. I'm going to do this a couple of times. See, the more layers you put, the more intense your colors will be. So that is what I want. There we go. There we go. So, let's see. We had a little bit of snow today. And uh, we, we haven't had a lot. I'm in Indiana, Southern Indiana. We haven't really had a lot, but we had a little bit of snow today. And then a lot of the schools are closing because of the flu. So that's going to be kind of a problem where I work. I teach at college and we don't ever close. So it will be a bit of a problem with my kids if they shut up down our school. But they shut down the school in the next town. So I imagine it'll happen to us soon. So is that happening where you guys live that schools are shutting down because of the flu? Let's see your comments and see if anybody else is having to uh, deal with that. I also, I work a second job where I do um, testing, um, ACT testing, very strict with hats and different things. And we got a notice today um, if anybody's wearing a face mask uh, because of the viruses that are going around that we're not to ask them to remove it. You know, so it's kind of, a, kind of a shame that you have to worry about these things every year. All right, so. Might go over this just a couple of more times after we get a little bit of color on her coat. 
I'm going to go down here just very lightly, just kind of flicking and pulling it through. There we go. Huh? It's a pretty color. And it's going to look so good with the paper. This is the paper I'm using. See right here. And so I was trying to pick up some of the green. And uh, I just think that's so pretty. And this is the dye. Cut the dye. Well, you can't see it because so easily because... Um, I've got you so close, but it's a really pretty dye. So this is the, the colors I was trying to match up. It might be a little bit um, brighter green, but that's okay. All right, so now let's do her, um, let's do her hair. So I'm gonna use um, E77, E74, and E71. So these are, the, these are back to my Copics again. And so I'm gonna start with the lightest. Let's see. Huh. So far, I guess they're they are washing hands well. <laughs> ah, that's good. I tell my students to wash. I, I teach adults. I tell them to wash their hands all the time because I, you know, worry about worry about it. I don't want everybody to get sick. I also tell them if they're really sick, don't come to class. Don't infect everybody else. But, um, you know, they're wanting to get done with learning English, so they, they do come to class even when they maybe shouldn't. Plus, there's strict guidelines for international students on how many hours they can miss. But, uh, you know, little kids, of course. <clears throat> it's a little bit different in public school. They can miss a little bit more. There we go. And I'm going to go in with the lighter color again. Just kind of go back and forth between my three colors. And her hair is um, very close to her face. So I'm just trying to kind of, uh, wasn't paying a good, good enough attention there for a minute. Let me pull that down. And then let's go in again. I made a little bit of a boo-boo. Kind of little strokes to try to um, give her some hair strands. That's what I'm trying to do, little strokes. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to kind of correct a little error. Um, looking for my white pen. Let's see if this is it. So you can, where it got out a little bit, you can just kind of go over it with your pen. And that, I think my pen's a little dead. That'll take that out. So right here, we'll, I'll go over it with a white pen, and that'll kind of remove that little spot. All right, so I'm gonna go back in again with my lighter color and try to give a little bit of strokes there. Yeah, there we go, a little bit more. Now see that tones down her face a little bit, but I still kind of want to go over her face again. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do um, her scarf. And I was gonna do her scarf in um, RV13, RV21, and uh, RV10. So these are the three colors I'm going to use on her scarf. And then we'll do her jacket. And it's going to be a pretty card. I'll, I'll zoom you out so you can see when I make the when I make the card. So there we go. Let's see what if anybody's any comments from anybody. Oh, my husband's company told um, companies to stay home if they are ill. That is a wonderful thing to do. Some companies, well, like where I work, we don't have sick days. I, you know, I teach at college, and we don't have sick days or personal days. We're told um, to plan our days off during the summer. And so it, you know, makes it very difficult when, you know, and you don't want to call in too much because um, you want your contract renewed for the following year. So it does kind of encourage you to, to go when you're ill. When I had my thyroid removed, I didn't even miss a day. I did it over our spring break and I um, did not even miss one day of work because I was so worried about my job. And that was very, very difficult. Okay, so I'm just working these three colors kind of back and forth. And I did print her a bit small, but that's okay. It's okay. She's still gonna come out pretty. So I'm gonna go back in with my R13. Go give it some shading. Sorry. 
Are you guys all working on Valentine's Day cards? Let's see what you guys um, say. That is terrible. If your children are sick, it would be difficult. It is very difficult. I have actually faced a problem today. The heat at the daycare quit working, so I had to go pick up um, the baby. And I actually had to take her with me to the classroom, but she is not a talker. So she was very quiet in her carriage, and then she fell asleep all afternoon while I taught the class. She did, And she's 20 months old, but she took a nap, and I was able to go ahead and teach. And thankfully, I have very understanding students. And I let them bring their kids when they're in a spot. So um, this is the first time I had to do that. So they were quite understanding, though. So that was very good. But I was worried somebody might walk in and tell me off. Okay, I'm just going in and shading. And this is a very rural a rural area, so it's hard to find daycare. I think pe people face that everywhere. There we go. And a little bit more shading down here because, see, it's over by her arm. Okay. And then I thought I would do the coffee cup, actually, in this LG 1, 2, and 3 color, too, to kind of tie it together with the dress. Like I said, this is a little bit non-traditional colors. Now, one of the DTs, she did such a pretty, she made the um, steam look like a heart coming out of that. And I, I don't know how she did it. It was beautiful. I'm not that um, talented. <laughs> I mean, I, I might have to practice that a bit. I couldn't do it today. But I just thought that was so pretty. Very, very, very pretty. I just loved it. So I'm just working the three colors, the LG 3, 2, and 1. And I'm just doing the coffee cup very lightly, a little bit, so it matches the dress. But I want to pull out this color here. There we go. We'll go back with the LG 2 a bit. Pull it out a little bit more, just lightly. I'm barely touching the paper. See, bar barely, barely touching it. There we go. I'm just kind of pulling it out because I want it to have a nice highlight on this one side. So that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. I think that it, it does. There we go. So see, I think that has a nice little highlight. And now we'll do her jacket. And I was going to do her jacket to match her boots. And then um, we'll do the table. So I am going to use actually... Um, I'm going to use a little bit lighter. I'm going to use W0, the W2, and the W1. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter than I did on her boots. And I'm going to start with the W2 because, I, you know, they're going to be different material is what I'm thinking. And so you don't want them to be matchy-match because this is going to be fabric and this is probably um, suede or leather. So I, I'm going to have the shade be just a little bit different. And I do that a lot when I do hair bows. Make the, the bows a little slightly different color than the dress. So we're just going to come down and just lightly touching. Doesn't take a lot of ink the first go around. Just kind of pulling it out. And I think this is just a gap. And this is part of the table. So there we go. And it's going to be a little darker over in this corner and a little darker over here. And then a little darker over here. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with W1. Kind of zipping through the image tonight. There we go. I, you know, I, I do live on, um, Thursdays and Sunday. And it just seems like it's been so long since Sunday. I feel a little bit out of practice. It's kind of weird. Let's see. And um, I'm trying to think who else is on our team. This is for Sheepski Design. I'm trying to think who all is on the team. Um, because we do have some other lives that will probably come up soon. So now I'm going to go in with the lighter color. I'm, I love Sheepski Design. They have some really pretty images. There's getting ready to be... I'm not going to tell you what it is, but there's getting ready to be a... Um, a, a really pretty release on Kitten Clowder. So, 
You'll have to check that out. You have to be paying attention. And it's beautiful. Because really everything Sheep Ski Design does is just beautiful. But that's kind of a heads up. So a teaser. A teaser. Alright. So see she's it's slightly lighter color than the shoes. Than the boots. I'd actually love to be able to wear boots like that. But I think my legs are a little too chunky to to wear nice tall boots. I always feel envious of the people that have thin legs and can wear them. So it's sort of fun to um, do images like this that I can kind of dress her the way I wish I could dress. So I'm just kind of going back over and I'm just, see I'm pulling the color because I'm, I don't want a harsh, harsh, harsh line. I'm just kind of pulling it out. And then I'm going to go back in with my W1. And I'm just pulling this out. Shh, just not right now, sweetie. I'm busy. Sorry. You're going to have to go upstairs. Thank you. There we go. I'm just pulling it out. There we go. Pulling it out like that. There we go. Like so. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter color. There we go. Like that. Like that. He's not here, sweetheart. You're going to have to go upstairs, okay? Thank you. Yep. I, well, we just had supper. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. You know. Uh, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the table. And I'm going to do the table in gray. So we have a C0, C4, and C5, and C1. So I'm going to do this table. And I'm going to start with a little bit of C5. And I apologize. I, I try to, I always fix dinner before I come down, which I did. But... Apparently still hungry, so I do apologize for that. Real life here. There we go. So I'm just putting a touch of the C5, and I'm going to go with the C4. And this just takes a little bit because it's very thin. The table's thin, and I'm pulling it out. I didn't start at the end because I don't want to go. I don't want to lose that dark. I don't want to lose it. So I'm kind of pulling like towards it. See, you know, I'm not going, I'm not pulling it out too much, is what I'm trying to say. And then down here. And then I'm going to go lighter again. There we go. And I apologize for those of you um, who are new. I am I'm raising my children and grandchildren. I have children and grandchildren at home. So that was my grandson that I am raising. And uh, he was still hungry, so I do apologize. <laughs> I'll give him a snack when I go upstairs. So here we go. All right, I'm just kind of pulling it out. And this is a very thin table. And then I'm going to go in with my C0. And just pull it this way. And down. And it's kind of bled a little bit. That happens. There we go. And then I want to lighten it up just a little bit on the um, tips. Just ever so slightly. Just a little bit. Okay. So there we go. So I kind I think that kind of gives it a nice shine. And then I will kind of clean that up just a little bit. Okay. So I want to do her chair. <clears throat> So let me get a couple of colors to do her chair. And so I'm going to go back again with my Spectrum Noirs. Because I do, um, I love the, um, some of the colors in the Spectrum Noirs. So let me pull that out. It's kind of nice to be able to use both and show you that they both work just fine. So I'm going to use the um, MB1, which is muted. Uh, muted brown 
and I'm just pulling up on the chair and then I'm going to pull down <clears throat> back here just on the whoop, chair a bit and back in here back here and then right up here and down I'm just kind of pulling it down so that was my MB1 and then I'm going to actually take cream we're going to kind of work these two colors together and then I'm going to come up so I'm going to pull this down um, these markers do make a little bit of noise kind of a squeaky noise I'm going to get the paper wet pull that down pull it down these two colors complement each other well when you're when you work them together okay so now I'm going to take my MB1 again and I'm just going to go up looks like this and kind of pull this one down I love the illustrators I love this paint uh, the paint nib it's really they really I love them And then to pull this down. So see the colors work really well together. It gives gives it a nice highlight. See? I just like I like those two colors together really well. And then we'll do her cushion. And there's not much to the cushion. And then we're gonna look at her face again. So with the cushion, I'm gonna go in with a, just a light color, just with RV10. And we're just gonna do a little bit. Just kind of there we go and then I'm going to do the corner a little bit more see I'm just shading a little bit with this one marker I'm going to go back in in a minute okay so now with her legs let's go back in and let's take our um, E11 and just kind of right in here just kind of right in there and a little bit right here kind of touch it up just a little bit Give her a little bit more definition, just slightly. And over here by the um, her um, cuff, see right in there. A little bit over here by her eye. And over here, just kind of little, little bit and by her nose. Kind of uh, give her a little bit more definition. See, just slightly. Don't want to be heavy-handed. Don't be afraid. And then ease zero, pull it out just a little bit. There we go. And I had already done her blush, um, so I'm, I'm not going to put any more blush on her. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, so there she is. And we're going to ground her, and then we're going to make a card. And I will... Um, zoom you back out a little bit when I do the cards so that you're not blinded <laughs> and I'm going to take a YR0 let me see if that's what I'm going to take yeah I'm going to take this YR0 just here at the bottom just to kind of that's a little bit of a darker color it's okay because of the paper that we're going to be using so I use this Y R0 and then I'm going to go back in with my blender and I'm going to pull it out so you pull it out just a bit lots of activity going on upstairs I'm sorry I hope you're not <laughs> hoping it's not making you feel deaf I think the kids are all pretty active tonight it's an old house a lot of thumping so I'm pulling it out Kind of pulling out that color and if you use your blender and then use your color it kind of helps to lighten it up a little bit so just doing it ever so lightly you just kind of lightly it kind of lightens it up and then i'm going to go back in again and pull it out just a little bit more there we go just pull it out just pull it out to a white is what it, what I'm trying to do and a little bit more right up in here and I come down with it it's really 
I hear my little one coming down again. Sorry. I had an idea. Okay. Right so now. Listen. Talk. Listen to me. I have people listening. Go upstairs and I will talk to you later. Can I say hi to them? Not right now, sweetie. Just say hi and go on upstairs. Say hi and go upstairs. Can I see you? No, you can't. Just say hello. Hi. Okay. Now you go on upstairs. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. He thinks that uh, he could see you guys. <laughs> All right, so now we'll make the card. We'll make the card. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. Or zoom, zoom in, zoom out. So zoom out. Hi, Gil. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit so that, okay, that you can see what I'm going to do. All right. You know, if I was uber talented, I could have made wood planks. Um, Amy Young, oh my gosh, she is like amazing. She makes the most beautiful backgrounds, and she would have wood planks there. She would have um, a whole background, and um, it would be fabulous. Um, so if you are looking for somebody to watch a live of, Amy Young. Now this is a 5 by 7 card, and I am just um, putting a layer over the top of my card of pink. And this is, uh, really the dye is beautiful, so I'm letting the dye do the work instead of having a ton of layers tonight. So, so this is a 5 by 7 card. There we go. I'm just going to lay it there. <clears throat> See, it's just beautiful. And that's going to be our dye. And I don't know, let me pull you up just a little bit more so that way you can see what I'm doing with the card. Try not to make you dizzy. Some people got off. They probably um, not as interested in the card making part. <laughs> oh, you are a good listener. Oh, are you talking to me? <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to me or who, but my little one, um, well, he has autism. And so he sometimes, um, he does not know boundaries. So I do apologize. He does not know boundaries. So, it's always interesting in our house. But, you know, you got to love your kids. And um, everybody has family. All families have um, hidden struggles. Is that what I want to say? Hidden struggles that we don't know about. So, see, I'm putting her on here. I thought that this green kind of complimented the green here. Maybe it's a little bit limey, but I still thought it was quite pretty. So I'm going to, and this is all a, uh, you know what this is, is actually an old Anna Griffin die. And uh, I didn't use the ovals and I don't use this die very much. But I thought for tonight, I just thought, how pretty um, was that? And so we're going to pop her up. And then we're going to do some other little things to her. So I just use these cheap um, little adhesives from the Dollar Tree. And, and they are cheap, but um, man, they work pretty good. You don't always have to spend a fortune on things. And here we go. I'm trying to see if there's any messages. Uh, you love them unconditionally. Yeah. Really, you know, my dad always loved me unconditionally, and uh, that's just how I've always felt that a parent should be. My dad always, um, always had good lessons and stuff. You know, my dad um, had died in a plane crash when he was his own plane when he came to visit me. So this whole Kobe Bryant thing brought back lots and lots of um, memories to me. Lots of hurts. <laughs> so, I've been thinking about my dad. I am going to go in March to um, Savannah. That's where my father is buried. And uh, visit his gravesite. Because it's been a while. So, I'm really looking forward to going back in March. I think that'll be nice. I love Savannah area. I always kick myself for having moved from Savannah to Indiana. <laughs> but I have a nice job. I teach international students and I love them. So it works out okay. 
But yes, unconditional love is how a parent should love, really. All right, so I have her popped up. I think I just, this um, die is so pretty. I just don't feel like you need to do a whole lot. So I'm going to, um, I put you in coffee, you in coffee. I said love was in the air. And I think she's sitting, in my mind, she's sitting and waiting for, um, for her special someone. And he's going to come. He's not going to stand her up. He's coming. He is coming. She's just sitting, sitting and waiting. So when I posted that I was going to do this image, I said love was in the air. Now, I really, I'm going to practice because I really loved it when this lady did the um, heart in, in the steam. I thought that was a really cool effect. So I'm going to practice that and see if I can do it. And if I can do it, then we'll be doing, I'll be doing this card again. Now, I think her skin looks a little muddy. I might go over it a little bit more. All right, so I'm just going to put this right here. You and coffee. And then I have these flowers that I thought I could add, these pretty flowers. And then I have some gems that I thought I could add. So I thought I would add those like that. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Think that'll be okay? Uh, what I use is this um, fabric fusion, quick dry fabric fusion, rather than using um, a heat gun. The only thing is, like, you have to be careful because it has stringy glue sometimes. But when this dries, your flowers are, they are there. They are stuck. So I just hold it down like, th like this. And then I'll move on to the next one. And they are there. I did a um, another sheepski image. And uh, let me see if I can find it. I'll show you. These are the same flowers. <laughs> here but I colored them with my um, markers and made them purple when I did this image here so uh, and I think they took the color really well so when you get flowers and things you don't have to just um, keep them the color they are you can change the color I use don't use your good markers I use my ohuhu markers that are some really cheap ones that I got gotten and I use those. Don't don't use your really good markers because you don't want to ruin your um, nibs. Okay, so I thought, let's see what you guys think. I thought I could use these uh, gems in the green. So, and I was thinking about using them maybe up in here. Or do you think I should add more flowers? Let's see what you, uh, oh, where do you get your flowers? Actually, these flowers came from, um, these flowers here came from AliExpress, and they're not, you know, I know there's a lot of controversy about buying dyes and stamps, so I don't, I don't, I haven't bought any dyes or stamps, but the flowers, um, I do buy flowers off of AliExpress, and that's what, they came in a packet like this, just like this, and I, I mean, I don't think these are being copied off of anything, and then I also have, let me see, I'll show you another thing I have. I got these at the same time, and they were also from AliExpress, and it's a big um, tube of, um, actually, these weren't from AliExpress. These are Prima Flowers. I got these off of Amazon. I bought these, and I bought these um, on the same day, and um, these are what I use, and I color these, too, with my markers, so whatever color they are, you can color them. All right, so what do you think? Should we add the gems? Gems, too. Okay. Uh, Sandra says dots. I don't really have any dots. I don't have any dots. I have these, these gems are kind of chunky. Uh, you know, I mean bigger, but I was thinking about maybe putting like, I don't know, putting them across here. I can take them back up. I don't have to leave them there. I was kind of thinking like three maybe across here just to kind of decorate the corner a little bit. And that would bring in that green. I, I can glue them down more. What do you think? See? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe uh, more flowers. So I kind of think the gems are kind of pretty. Now see, um, Stephanie, she does like fabulous cards. So I don't know. I do have these smaller ones, but I think they blend in too much pink. So I kind of thought in the corner was rather pretty. But right here looks a little, a little empty. But I hate to cover up my pretty um, ribbon. So, 
That's why I'm not sure. What do you think? Any more, anything else or leave it at, leave her as is. I'll wait and see what you guys say. I'll take your advice. I'm just going to go in and do her lips a little bit more. Give her a little bit. See, because I think she's kind of faded out a little bit. And I'm out of my E000 marker. And that is why um, I feel like she's a little darker than I would like to have had her be tonight. But I have, I've ordered a refill and I don't have it yet. So that is why she's a little bit darker. I feel a little uncomfortable with her skin tone, but I think she'll be okay. So what do you think, you guys? Should I add anything else or put the middle gem close to the corner? This one here, close to the corner. Oh, oh, that's kind of cute. Yes, like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Kind of like L-shaped. Okay, let me do that. I do like that. I can glue them down. Let me bring this one a little bit closer and that one up. Yes, I agree, Fatima. That is a good call. That's why I love making cards with you guys because you, you guys help me out. So this, I think this still looks a little funny. Um, maybe I had put it down too low, but see, it's not going to come up now. So I have, I don't know. Should I add any more gems? What do you think? I do think that's right, but this over here looks a little funny. I don't know if I could put another three there. Try the pink gems. Okay, I have the small ones. I have really small ones, so I could put, um, uh, I could put three little small ones. I didn't know. Does that look funny? They'll have three big ones over on this side. And then three small ones on this corner. Let's see how it looks. Because I just think this corner looks funny. I really wanted to use a ribbon, but since this die is a ribbon itself, I thought that didn't look right. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Okay, so that gives us like three chunky ones and three little ones. So what do you think? I'm not a gym person I'll be honest there's something kind of new for me so let's see what you guys say and then I'll no big green ones don't like big gems no big green oh you don't like the big green ones ah. I'll take those off I'll take the big green ones off I don't have um other green ones so use little pink ones oh I could do this then they the corners would match how's that and then I'll call it a night because I've kept you guys a long time. And new people are going to think, gosh, these, these gals are crazy. Now, don't forget, there's um, Dawn G Designs and uh, Stamping with Gail Sue and the Noble Crafter. And um, somebody else is going to be doing lies. I won't announce it yet because I don't know if she's ready yet. I'll uh, keep it quiet. But there's another person in our little group that's going to be doing lies. And she'll be fantastic because she makes beautiful cards. So what do you think, having it in the corner, having that kind of match up? I kind of like that better. So I might work on her face just a little bit more. But the other things I like. So there we go. That's our card for tonight. I love this die. <laughs> I love you guys. And I've had so much fun with you guys tonight. I, um, My friend suggested I give this to my mom for um, Mother's Day. But I don't know. I don't know uh, if, if I will or not. Because probably by then we'll be doing a thousand more cards. I feel like we've done a lot of Christmas cards. And then we did a lot of um, Valentine cards. And we've just done lots and lots of cards for the different holidays. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the um, St. Patrick's Day cards. That's what I'm kind of looking forward to. Is shifting over to doing greens for St. Patrick's Day. So... Okay, you guys. Well, I will see you. I am doing a live again on Sunday, and I will see you then. And thank you for watching me tonight. And uh, remember, this is from Sheepski Design. And, and um, I don't know. She's beautiful. And Sheepski Design has some very interesting and beautiful images. So I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to work on this image just a little bit more, and I will talk to you guys later. Good night.